Folkadelic Acid Blues, The History of Rock and Roll, and here's your host, The Tin Man. But, coming up, I'm going to be talking about Monterey Pop Festival. Yes. And how that changed the whole freaking world. Hey, welcome to Folkadelic Acid Blue. And, you know, we kind of, we, we've done the folk part. And now it's about time to get into the Adelic. This is the Adelic and the Angelic. And this is the Monterey Pop Festival. This was a turning point in rock and roll. It was the end of, a, of a, an era and the beginning of another one and there has very rarely in music been an event such as this. I mean, you have the Moondog Coronation Ball and you have Woodstock, of course, and there are a few others later, but nothing like this. Monterey Pop Festival. What makes Monterey Pop Festival so good? Well, it was who was playing? One of the names that was playing were the Mamas and the Papas. And they had been around for a while and they had had their hits and they knew that, you know, things weren't going with the band. Or like, you know, sometimes bands end and everybody kind of knew that they were on the way out. But they didn't know what was going to replace them until Janis Joplin took the stage. And she starts singing, and it is just the amazing footage. They pan the, to the audience, and Mama Cass is sitting, is standing with her jaw dropped down and and she's like oh my god how good I mean you could see you could read her lips and and she knew that you know she she had given the title to Janice and don't get me wrong Mama Cass was great and one of the greatest and one of my favorites. But Janice is Janice. And Janice was only half the story. Yeah, there was another guitar player that showed up that night. And apparently there had been an argument about who was going to play when. And, and this man stood up on the chair that he was sitting in with his guitar and he looks at him and says if I have to f close this show I'm pulling out all the stops and that my friend was the night that we discovered Jimi Hendrix and that was the night he set his guitar on fire and set the world on fire lighting it yeah and there's really nothing more to say after that Monterey Pop Janice Jimmy this has been Folkadelic Acid Blues that was a little Adelic and I thought it was idyllically spoken. I'm not sure if that's a word, but I'm using it.
Catch you later. I mean, they played Janis Joplin. I hated yeah. Janis Joplin with a passion. I just never liked her stuff. Really? But, okay, uh, we're going to have to. About it, even as a kid, it made me just cringe. I don't know why. Oh, man. Uh, it, you guys heard the that. Uh, you know, it, 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 I don't even know why I said you guys heard that. I don't know why. I did not say that. I actually <laughs> love <laughs> the Pearl. And, and I don't care, you know. He, he, he likes Barry Manilow, for Christ's sakes. Subscribe to my channel. Or I'll start doing stupid stuff like this until you do. Don't forget to watch Worth My View, my show, on Tuesday. How's that? Beautiful. Remember to hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the little bell. It'll just make my day. Catch you later. I think I got it. I think I've got it. What's that?